what your body is aware of that it requires and what it desires may be different than what you think. And this is the crucial distinction because what you think is based on your judgments, your projections, your expectations, and your points of view about what's right and what's wrong. Your body could have totally different points of view. The difficulty is you're not gonna know what those points of view are until you start asking. The other thing that I talked about is asking your body for food. Because once again, your body eats, you don't. So you wanna ask your body, hey, body, what would you like to eat today? Well, okay, you're probably not gonna ask it for the whole day at once. Let's say you're at breakfast, you're in your house, and you're like, open the fridge, open the cabinet, wherever you have your breakfast food, body, what would you like to eat? And what'll happen is your body will be like, oh, I'd like that. Okay, I want eggs, okay, cool. I want cheese on my eggs. I mean, you'll start to get the energetic insistence that your body has. Now, if you're not perfect doing this the first time, or the second time, or the 10th time, or the 100th time, please don't make yourself wrong. You wanna recognize that this is something where we are developing a completely new relationship, a completely new connection with our body that we haven't had before. Well, we actually have had it, but we were never taught to nurture it, so it basically died. And the challenge right now is, with so many people in their bodies, is they're so disconnected from them that you trying to do whatever it is you do, especially if you do some sort of energetic work, one of the reasons it doesn't seem to work very well or you seem to work really hard and the person seems to be like a, a concrete block lying there is because they're so disconnected from their body and they've enforced that disconnection a lot of times from the times they were little kids.